Today, we're going to learn how to read a book to a two, three, four, and five year old and introduce them some pre reading skills. We are going to use the book Sammy Chases the Alphabet by Gina Kinney, me. First, let's start with a two year old. Oh, look, A landed on an anthill. That active ant took a spill. Now, if I was reading this to a two-year-old, I would just read that first line because their attention span isn't long enough to last this whole story. Oh, look, A landed on an anthill. Wow, do you see the A up there? Can you show me the ants? Where are they? Oh, there they are in a puppy. And then my two-year-old, I'm going to read the first sentence to this page. Do you see B bouncing by the butterfly tree? I see a B. Do you see it? There it is. Oh, and look at those butterflies. Oh, the blue butterflies are flying. And then I'll continue reading the story, just the first line to my two-year-olds. Now, what about my three-year-olds? My three-year-olds have a little bit longer attention span, so I'm going to add in some more skills. Oh, look. A landed on an anthill. Oh, do you see the A? There it is. Oh, and the ants. Where are the red ants? Do you see them? One, two, three, four. There's four red ants. Oh, and the A is red too. How about the B? Do you see B bouncing by the butterfly tree? Do you see B over there? There's B. And where are the butterflies? There they are. What color are they? They're blue. How many are there? Let's see. One, two, three butterflies. So for this page, for my three-year-olds, I read the first line and then I talked about the details of the photos, but what's different is I added in colors and counting and numbers. Okay. And then I'll just continue going with my three-year-old doing that throughout the whole book. Now, what about my four-year-olds, my pre-kindergartners? These guys can handle the whole story. So I'm going to read, oh, look, A landed on an anthill. That active ant took a spill. <gasps> Whoa, look at all those ants on the anthill. Do you see them? There they are. There's one, two, three, four. Four and they're red and a puppy. <gasps> he was trying to chase the A ball. I'm going to add in a little bit more language now. It says an active ant took a spill. <gasps> that means one fell down. Do you see the one that fell down? Where is he? <gasps> oh, he was running up the hill to get the ball and he fell down. Poor little ant. So I added in a lot more language on this picture for my four-year-old. And if I'm doing this for a circle time, I can have a whole group discussion. I'm going to move on to my B side. Do you see B bouncing by the butterfly tree? Wow, the beautiful blue butterflies are landing on the leaves. Oh, wow, look at those butterflies. They're up there and they're landing on. Oh, there's one. I see him. He's almost to the leaf. This one's a little bit farther away from the leaf. And this one's closer. That one's not even on a leaf. That one's on the branch of the tree. So for my four-year-olds, I'm talking about the pictures, adding in colors and numbers, and adding in a bunch of new vocabulary to help them grow. Now, when I get to my later four-year-olds, or even my five-year-olds who are ready to talk about finding the letters in the books, I'm going to add in real reading skills here. Oh, look, A landed on an anthill. That active ant took a spill. There's my active ants. Oh, and there's my A. Now let's find the words that have an A at the beginning of the word. 
How many words have an A in it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven A's. Which ones have an A at the beginning of the word? Let's see. Mm. <gasps> There's one. A-N. An. An. An starts with A. <gasps> and look next to it. A N T T T T Ant <gasps> A landed on an ant hill. And I'm gonna continue doing that for all my words. Look on this page, there's two words that are the same. Ant and ant. And an A all by itself because one A is actually a word. Wow. Now, what about the A's in the middle of the words? Do you see any words that have A's in the middle? Oh, look, there's one. A-L-A-N. Landed. Lan, an, an. There's that A-N word again. An, lan, did. A landed on an ant hill. Let's see. There's another one. A, at, that. At, at, that, active ant, took a spill. That's it. We read all the A words on that page. What about the B's? <gasps> Do you see B bouncing by the butterfly tree? Wow, the beautiful blue butterflies are landing on the leaves. Let's find all the B words. B, bouncing by the B. Butterfly, <gasps> beautiful blue butterflies. I see all those B words. Let's see. Can we sound them out? These are longer words than our A words were shorter. And our B words are longer. Let's see. B-E-A. Beautiful Beautiful. That's a long word, but oh, look at this one. B blue. Blue. Look, the butterflies are blue. They're up here and they're blue. Now, here's a good time to talk about singular and plural words because we have butterfly tree. Butterfly is one. There's only one tree here, but look. Butterflies. <gasps> that means there's more than one. Butterfly, one. Butterflies, two, more than one. How many butterflies are there? One, two, three. So do you see how that progressed from a two-year-old reading this book? to a five-year-old in kindergarten or almost reading this book. So that's how that pro read, you know, the reading works as far as the sequence and the age level and the attention span. And I'm just going to continue reading, if I was with my kid, the rest of the story just like that. So you can find this book on Amazon. If you're interested, I wrote this story, Sammy Chases the Alphabet. Um... And I put a link in the video above. So if you have questions about reading and teaching kids pre-reading skills and age ranges, um, about language and expanding some of those important academic skills, I really focus on reading in here because once kiddos can read, they have access to so much more. Again, we want to make sure our reading is very age-appropriate, enjoyable for our kids, so they will want to keep looking at books and reading. So I hope you guys have a great day. And again, this is Sammy Chases the Alphabet on Amazon. Bye.